congratulations, back-to-back -back wins, Benji. So mm. much to like about that game. Where do you start? Oh, just the resilience. Um, our team showed, like, you know, to lose Lockie there for 10 minutes and um, be down 14-6. Just the fight they showed to stay in it, for starters, and not let him score. And then uh, when the kid came back on, the little moment of brilliance that he produced um, with Dream, you know, that's what we play the game for. Um, you know, and then at the end there, coming down to that last kick, it was... <laughs> Yeah, just happy we got on the end of it. What did you think about Lockie when he was coming off? He looked devastated and for him to be able to come back with all that composure. Yeah, well, he's um, he's just a guy who wants to do his job and doesn't want to let the team down. You know, he's uh, he's so invested in what we do. Um, and again, like I've talked about him a lot, but we just love the way he plays, the way he is. And to come back on after probably um, feeling a bit down about himself and, and produce what he did just shows his character, you know. You seem emotional. Was it emotional? No, I just lost my voice oh, singing okay. the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> we knew the words. But was that set up, Benj, though, in the first half when you had about 30 tackles inside their 20? Uh, yeah, well, I thought, to be honest, we didn't play the way we wanted to or the way we planned to, um, the way we talked about the, with developed standards. And in the first half, we went away from those things and they had a lot of ball in our half. And to put, hold them out like that, um, it's credit to the boys. I just said that to them. It's probably the most resilient performance uh, we've set. Sorry, we've had in the Tigers jersey for a long time. And, you know, to come down to that last kick, whatever way it went, I was proud of the boys. But um, to get the result, I'm happy for them because they, they've earned it. What was going through your head when Clint's lining up? <laughs> it's funny, mate. you you got to sit in the box with Robbie Farrow and John Morris to understand, <laughs> like, <coughs> they're both just like, we can't lose like this, you know? <laughs> and I said, look, boys, what it meant to be will be. And if we do, we'll just be proud of the boys. And, um, you know, we got on the right end of it. So really happy with that. But, again... Um, it's a credit to these guys because they got to go out there and do it. Happy, just back to Lara's question. I think you defended six sets of six in a row in that first half on your own try line. We probably don't see that last year. We probably haven't seen that for a while from this team. Can you pinpoint why we saw it today and what it says about this team? Yeah, I think we just, um, I think we pretty much made a focus on, you know, celebrating the little wins, you know, especially when you're defending your line. Um, you know, any kind of stop that you get, you know, it's pretty big. So, um, I had some good people out there, you know, Sam Weller and, and Johnny Bateman. You know, celebrating and screaming and it brings so much energy to the boys and you know we did a lot of work in the off season so um, I think John Morris you know deserves a lot and uh, Stephen Babbage. Did you expect Lockie to come back after the sin bin like that and, and like how was he on the field having gone through the 10 minutes and then come back to, to set up that crazy try? Uh, look it, it's hard to explain you know how Lockie is he, he's so quiet but um, you know he's just a footy player he's a raw footy player and you know you just let him do what he does and I think he's got you know some great mentors around him to you know sort of assist him with letting him do that so yeah, I think um, yeah. when it came down to it, you know, he really shone. Bench, you're talking a bit more to the maturity of the team as well, because like we've seen Tigers play some good games in the past, but backing up from week to week has, has been the, the issue. And after the yeah. Sharks at Leichhardt last week, to come back and do that tonight, has it shown a bit more maturity in this squad now? Um, yeah, well, we practised the whole pre-season of um, the standards that we want to accept and the price that we have to pay to get to that. And... Um, if you're not prepared to pay the price, you won't live it up. You won't live up to it. And these guys had a whole preseason of it, and I saw it. So um, we don't care about what happened last year or the year before. We're on the now train, and moving forward, um, we need to be better than we were today again um, for where we want to go. You know, so there's still a lot of improvement in us. Did you have any nightmares about the Cowboys game from last year when that penalty goal was being lined up? I can't even remember that game, <laughs> to be honest. Are you no. concerned for Lockie with the hip drop? Oh, look. <laughs> I don't know. We just don't know how it's going to go with those things, you know. Um, you know, saw the one last night, or the Max Plath one, got a couple of weeks. So <laughs> if that's anything to go off, I don't think Lockie's was as bad as that, but I, I didn't see it closely enough. Um, yeah, hopefully he gets no weeks. Is it potentially an opportunity for someone else if he does bench, given you guys do have a lot of depth in that position? Oh, we'll deal with that um, if it happens. Um, yeah. There's only been a pain since it's not about me, but it's going to be an emotional week. You're coaching against, head coaching against your, your brother. Oh. Wayne Bennett, a bloke who you've had amazing. Yeah. Well, no, I won't be emotional at all. Um, no. Really, I mean, no. Nah. I don't um, think about it like that. Yeah, they're just in the other team at the moment, and my job is to help these guys do what they need to do. And um, again, like I said, it's not about me. It's about our whole club. I think our fans can really celebrate that one tonight um, because we've been on the other end of that a lot of the time. Wayne has done a lot for you. You've spoken about yeah. what Wayne's done for you and how you talk to him about a coaching career. Yeah. I'm sure you won't call me this week. <laughs> you still talking to him yeah. most weeks? Yeah, I talked to him. Yeah. Yeah. He won't call me this week, I guarantee you.
What about Jeremy? You, you speak to him often? Oh, look, Reedy, look, like, we'll talk about that during the week. I just wanted these guys to enjoy this now. That's next week. Yeah. yeah. We're going to enjoy the wins when they come into our review and then we'll flush it. Do you think you win that game last year? Which one? This one today. I don't care about last year. <laughs> this is now. It doesn't matter. Like, last year's last year. That's why people forget it. We had a completely different roster with a lot of different players that were bought in, a lot of youth. Um, our leaders are really doing a great job. And like this guy next to me again today, same thing. New, new, new song, how's it going? How'd it go the second well, time? we didn't have the words today. Oh, good. Um, yeah, so because we sung it last week, it might have been fresh in the memory and um, <laughs> went okay today. Still can be better. Still can be better. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, it can still be better. Um, but you got to celebrate them yeah. when you have them. You know? Enjoy yeah. it. Happy playing said about a lucky album, but ADC's other veteran there, uh, icing that game winning moment. What's he been like as a teammate so far at the club? Oh, he's great, mate. Like I said, he's, he's quite old now. Uh, he's quite a fossil for us, but <laughs> you know, we love him. He's, he's, so, he's so calm and he gets us into the right position. So, you know, to have someone like that in our team, and obviously on the other side of that, you have Galvin. So, you got both, best of both worlds. He's great. He's great. Yeah, he's going good, Caesar. Um, but the, the thing that he's got is he's got a platform to play off. Like I thought Stefano tonight was outstanding, um, and he has been the start of the season for us you know, and hopefully he's pushing for a rep jumper but I think he's been um, outstanding with his intent and the way he's been playing and these guys in the halves no, without that platform you can't play the way you play so uh, you know, him, him, Clem, Fenua they've been outstanding for us just to Alan as well obviously it's good to have young players but having a guy like that he just seems completely reborn in a Tigers jumper what did you make of his sort of enthusiasm if more than anything? Yeah, we, we love um, what Justin brings um, you know what you're going to get every week. A lot of passion. He, he wears his heart on his sleeve, tries really hard. But most importantly, he brings this energy to the team that whenever he touches the ball, the players on the back of it lift. And then whenever he defends, he puts everything into every tackle and the players lift. You know, So that's why we signed him, his experience, his energy. And um, he's been outstanding for us in the last two games. Thanks. This year, NRL on 9 is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action, seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast, get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that. And of course, my favourite, Freddie and the Ape. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm. Subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.